So this is going to be a tough comparison for me. Up until now, the Sundaras were my flagship um, headphone, probably my favorite one. Um, until I got the Audis here. Now you're looking at, depending on where you buy them, three, three times the price, four times the price for the Audis versus the Sundaras. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm poo-pooing the Sundaras because they're still very good, especially for the price. I think you're talking like $300. <clears throat> now the Sundaras, this, to be clear, these Sundaras, um, you have to add on this cable is going to be another $70 for the Perry up cable. Um, and these are not stock pads. These are um, leather upgraded pads, which I've done a review on. Look at the comparison between the upgraded pads versus the pads that the Audis come with. These are some serious pads. I'd love to know what kind of pads these are or if these are just like proprietary to them. But those pads are, those are some serious pads. Look at those. These were an upgraded to what the Sundaras came with. So between the two, I, I, this is, it's, so it's, it's tough. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go on a limb and I'm going to say the sound is pretty comparable. When you get into high-end headphones, <clears throat> the Sundaras are going to be tough to improve on. But the Audis, the Audis do it. But you're not looking at, you know, okay, four times the price. These are four times better. That's not how it is. It's diminishing returns when you get into extreme detail like this. I'm going to say the Audis sound richer by comparison to the Sundaras. But it's not four times as rich. So that's where it gets difficult. Um, it's the build quality of the Audis, like I had touched on previously, I think is superior. So as far as the straight up comparison goes between these two, I'm gonna say that the sound is in the same ballpark. And that's probably going to be an unpopular opinion given the price difference. Um, the main difference is going to be the build quality. The different, um, this post feels to me a lot more solid than whatever Sundara's got going on. Uh, one thing that the Sundara's have that they do better than the Audis is these pads can easily be ordered online and replaced. Clipped off, swapped out, and changed. Now these... I believe are glued on um, so you have to rip these off and I don't know what kind of residue is on there how you clean off the residue and then and then what do you do just glue on the new pad I guess I don't know and then where do you find those I mean those are some pretty serious pads look at the size difference so I don't want to poo-poo these guys these these have been my go-to come home put these on and it's a vacation these, the Audis to me feel like, take everything you like about the Sundaras and enhance it, and you have the Audis. But neither of these are good for anything other than in the studio, or in bed, or on your couch, listening to music or watching a movie, which is what I use it for, primarily. Or like I had said before, I'll watch um, or listen to various audiobooks with the uh, cinematic sounds. And when I, it sounds kind of silly, but the ones that I listen to, it's like listening to a movie. Uh, the company is Graphic Audio. I'll post their link in the comments below. But that's what I listen to with these. That's my escape, that's my vacation after the kids are in bed. I've, I've done my duty for the day. Work is done, dishes are done. Reward yourself, put these on, and then just escape. Also, the Sonaras didn't come with a sweet case. These guys did. So, if 
we're gonna be comparing, the case itself is probably a hundred bucks. I have shops for different cases. I was thinking of getting a case for my Sundaras. Um, but yeah, like I said, hundred bucks for a case if you want one like this. And this is a pretty serious case. It's not a pretty case, it is a tough case, and that is all I care about. I do not care about the pretty cases. Like you've seen some that are like leather. I think the uh, Audio-Technica flagship one comes and it's like a leather traveling briefcase. This one is like a military case, can be dropped from a skyscraper and your headphones will be fine with rubber bottoms. So if we're gonna compare, that should be mentioned, <clears throat> although I would almost have rather had a break in the price and then not had a case, but hey, what are you gonna do? I'll take the case if you're gonna give it to me. Um, that being said, they both, the cables for both of them stunk. Um, but I will say that the Audis is better. This to me feels like a, a cheap case and then just to get it to what I needed to do, which is the three and a half, just all, all I've I covered it in the review of the Audis, but this is just seems silly to me. You have to have all of that, and then if you have an iPhone, you have to have another adapter just to listen to it on your iPhone. Another difference is, is with these, I feel like you these take more power versus the Audis. These can be ran on your iPhone. That might be an unpopular opinion. I'm sure there's lots of. Sorry, what was I saying? I forgot. So they both come with junky cables. Both gonna wanna probably order a new cable with Periap. These ones I feel you need a preamp for. <clears throat> Might be an unpopular opinion. These ones I think you can power with your iPhone. So that is something to consider. They sound great either way. Um, some phones, I don't think you can power these, but mine seems to do okay with it. Um, but these a lot of times are used for movies for me, so these are plugged right into my home stereo, and that has enough power to drive either one. But I think these take less power, which is odd to me because they just seem so much bigger. I'm sure that has nothing to do with it, the size, everything to do with the drivers, but I'm not gonna get into that because I don't know anything about that. The sound, like I said, to me, it feels like an enhanced version of the Sundar. It's just a little bit richer with the Audis. Uh, a little more detail, a little deeper bass, a little higher highs. To be clear, though, I am not one of these nuts who has a record player. The arrow is pointing this way. I'm not one of these guys that has like a record player and is completely fine tuning every, absolutely every detail. That's not me. Um, So probably the wrong guy to ask for that to me. They just feel like a really. So that's my two cents on the two pair. I'll post a link for both of these in the comments below. Um, let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you next time.